Jupiter is the undisputed monster of our solar system. It is so massive that more than 1,300 Earths could fit inside its swirling, stormy interior. It holds twice the mass of every other planet, moon, and asteroid in our neighborhood combined. For centuries, we looked at Jupiter as the gold standard for what a giant could be. But the universe is a vast, ego-bruising place. Very recently, using the power of the Subaru Telescope and the NASA Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers have begun to pull back the curtain on worlds that make Jupiter look like a pocket-sized marble. You may have heard of AB Aurigae b, a protoplanet nine times the mass of Jupiter, still forming in a thick disk of dust 531 light-years away. Or perhaps GQ Lupi b, an object so massive it blurs the line between a planet and a star. But there is one world that stands alone, not because of how much it weighs, but because of how much space it takes up. Welcome to the story of Hat P67b, the largest confirmed planet by radius ever discovered, a world that defies the laws of physics, a world made of nothing, and a world that is currently being executed by its own sun. To understand Hat P67b, we first have to understand the scale of our own home. Earth's radius is roughly 6,000 kilometers. It feels infinite to us. But step up to Jupiter, and the scale breaks. Jupiter is 11 times wider than Earth. If you were to fly a commercial jet around Jupiter's equator, it would take you three weeks of non-stop flying just to finish one lap. Now imagine a planet more than double that size. Hat P67b has a radius roughly 2.1 times that of Jupiter. We are talking about a diameter of over 150,000 kilometers. If you place this planet in our solar system where the moon is, it wouldn't just fill the sky, it would swallow it. It is a staggering, mind-numbing colossus. But here is where the mystery begins. In the cosmos, gravity usually dictates that if you are bigger, you are heavier. More stuff means more pull. But Hat P67b is an anomaly. Despite being twice as wide as Jupiter, it has less than half of Jupiter's mass, only about 0.34 Jupiter masses. It is a giant balloon. It is a world of styrofoam. Scientists have labeled it a superpuff planet, and it is the lowest density gas giant we have ever found. If you could find an ocean big enough, this planet wouldn't sink like a stone. It would float on the surface like a piece of cork. How did this happen? To find the answer, we have to travel 1,200 light years away to the constellation Hercules. There we find the star Hat P67. This isn't a calm yellow star like our sun. It is an F-type star hotter, whiter, and much more violent. And HAT P67b is trapped in its clutches. The planet is located only 0.065 astronomical units from its star. That is nearly six times closer than Mercury is to our sun. Because it is so close, the gravitational pull is immense, forcing the planet to whip around the star at a terrifying speed. A year on this planet, one full journey around its sun, lasts only 4.8 Earth days. Imagine that, you would celebrate your birthday every Tuesday, but being this close is a death sentence. The planet is blasted by radiation and heat that we can barely calculate. The temperatures on HAT P67b reach 1,900 Kelvin, or roughly 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This isn't just hot, this is a temperature that melts titanium. It is a world where the atmosphere isn't just gas, it's a swirling superheated plasma. This extreme heat is the secret to the planet's impossible size. Astronomers call this the hot Jupiter inflation effect. Think of a hot air balloon. When you heat the air inside the balloon, the molecules move faster, pushing outward and expanding the fabric. HAT P67b is a planetary version of that balloon. The relentless energy from the F-type star penetrates deep into the planet's interior. This energy pumps into the gas, forcing it to expand outward. Because the planet's actual mass is so low, its gravity is too weak to hold that gas down tightly. The result? The planet puffs up. It swells to twice its natural size, becoming a bloated, glowing orb of hydrogen and helium. But there is a catch. The planet has grown so large that it can no longer hold on to itself. The Hubble Space Telescope has observed something haunting. HAT P67b is bleeding. The star's radiation is so powerful that it is ionizing the planet's upper atmosphere and stripping it away. The planet is losing 10 million tons of gas every single second. This escaping gas forms a massive glowing tail that trails behind the planet like a comet, stretching for millions of kilometers through the vacuum of space. When we think of the largest things in space, we usually think of power. We think of 10618, the supermassive black hole with 66 billion times the mass of the sun, 
a spot where gravity is so strong even light is imprisoned. We think of UI Scuti, a hypergiant star so large that if placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would reach past Jupiter. We think of the Tarantula Nebula, a stellar nursery 1,800 light years across where stars are born in fire and dust. But Haiti Yacht P67b is a different kind of large. It is a fragile giant. It is a world that shouldn't exist because it is constantly being destroyed by the very thing that gives it its size. It is a balloon hovering inches away from a blowtorch. Its existence forces us to rethink everything. For a long time, scientists believed there was a limit to how big a planet could get before it turned into a star. But Haiti Yacht P67b blurs the line. It is the size of a small star, yet it has the heart of a planet. It likely formed much further away, in the cold, dark reaches of its system, and slowly spiraled inward over millions of years. As it got closer, the heat turned it from a standard gas giant into the puffed-up titan we see today. What is the future for the king of the Orbionverse? It isn't a happy one, because it is losing mass so rapidly. Haiti Yacht P67b is on a one-way trip to extinction. As it loses gas, its orbit will become unstable. Slowly, the star's gravity will pull it closer and closer. In a few hundred million years, a heartbeat in galactic time, the largest planet we have ever known will be vaporized. It will be devoured by its host star, leaving nothing behind but a memory captured by our telescopes. It reminds us that size in the universe is often temporary. Whether it's the Butterfly Nebula, a white dwarf surrounded by wings of gas 450,000 degrees hot, or the Eye of Sauron star Fomalhaut, everything is in a state of flux. Even the strongest materials, like the hypothetical nuclear pasta formed in the hearts of dead stars, eventually succumb to the pressures of the deep dark. Haitiat P67b is a masterpiece of cosmic irony. It is a giant that is light as air. It is a world that is freezing in its core, but melting on its surface. It is the largest planet ever found, yet it is one of the most fragile objects in the galaxy. It teaches us that the universe is not just a collection of rocks and gas. It is a storyteller. Every time we find a world like this, we realize how little we actually know. We are living in a golden age of discovery, where every new lens we point at the sky reveals a monster we never thought possible. Jupiter might be the king of our home, but out there in the Hercules constellation, HTP 67b is a reminder that there is always something bigger, weirder, and more mysterious waiting to be found. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Orbionverse. If this cosmic giant blew your mind, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your fellow space explorers. The universe is infinite, and we're just getting started. Stay curious, stay humble, and keep looking at the stars. See you in the next one.